Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival. Um, yeah, pretty much not too much different here. But let's go take a look at the power tower, because I did figure out some stuffs there. Um, let me change the stairway over in the previous episode. Alright, so I kind of changed things up a little bit from what my original layout here was and actually I found out this is all gonna have to be removed and put in my basement because the way the blinky plant works is off of an ABM and as far as I can tell when I'm in my house I am too far away from this blinky plant to trigger and then nothing moves out of this chest and into the furnace just as empty right now I don't know if money is burnable but either way, let's take a look at this uh, this cable here. It's hard to tell right now, but it is powered on. It's a little bit brighter than if it weren't because the no detector is looking for battery box eight. This battery box is fully charged, so it is number eight. If it has a powered signal running to the injector, the injector will inject one item when it gets a powered signal and will not inject another item till it gets another powered signal. If the powered signal stays on, though, it never gets another signal. So this works without using the NOT gate, which is what I have used in my other setups. But this actually I think I like more because it, it does work very well. Um, let me demo by just destroying this box, which I know seems crazy. Why would you do that? See, the cable is blinking. It blinks when the plant turns on. I guess money's not burnable. What a shame. I want to show off how rich I was and just burn money. But I can't. Boo hoo. Alright, so we have a battery that is now has no charge in it because it's nighttime. And I just got rid of all of it. But so is life. It is a cruel, cruel thing. I'm going to make another medium voltage battery box. We're going to put that one in the house. So I did some work off camera, as you can see here. I have three batteries and I have, whoops, the medium voltage transformer. So I just need to build two more low voltage batteries. And as you will notice, I have two machine casings and two low voltage wires. So all I need to do is make a bunch more batteries and get some more wood. And when I say some more wood, I do mean some more wood have tin and I have copper so I have everything I need for there I just need the wood I may have wood sitting in a chest back in my house why does not have to fell some trees which it's nighttime so that's really not a good time to be out felling trees I think I may have some in the house though let's see where would I have wood uh, I kind of went through and moved a bunch of stuff from my chests into locked chests because I wasn't sure when I was going to record this next episode and I didn't want a bunch of stuff sitting around in my basement that was unlocked. Even though you technically can't get in the house unless, well, you somehow break in because I do have locked doors there. Um, but... Some people somehow managed to glitch into some of my locked buildings before, both on this server and other servers, and I just didn't want that happening again. So I figured, you know what? I'm just going to make sure it can't happen. Alright, let's change this to battery. Alright, and we're just going to go ahead and grab a bunch of these, because that's what I'm going to need. Yep. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm It would actually... <coughs> It'd actually make more sense to just put a bunch in these. And you know what? I think that'll be fine. Yep. And then I'll just keep doing this. You know what? I think... I think it only takes five batteries for a, a battery box. And that leaves me just a little short on the 
copper and tin, but no worries. There we go. Let's go low voltage. And let's make one of those. Oh, yeah, it might help if I pull all this stuff out of inventory first, I suppose. Okay, low voltage. Nope, I want the low voltage. Boom. And let's do one more low volt. Why does it do this? There we go. All right, now let's put... And I guess I could have just clicked the medium voltage and done that, but oh well. Yes, another medium voltage battery box. All right, so we have a supply converter here just because it seemed like I needed that to make stuff work. I don't know if I really did need it, but it seemed that way. What I want to do... What do I want to do? And evidently I made more batteries than I needed. Oh well. I need some medium voltage cable, I believe. Alright, so I'm going to... Put a medium voltage cable there. And put the supply converter in that corner. And... That'll be that. Battery box there. All right. And yes, it looked like it really jumped. It just equalized with the one in the power tower. That's all it did. And so now I have switching station. Let me know what my supply is. I still have zero demand, which is good. And this is charging. No detector will sit there. Hmm. Gonna have to take a look at how this is set up in the power tower. How does that work? It's all got to come out. Okay, so I have that sitting up higher. I can still do that. Okay, let's grab that and this. The injector. The node detector. The furnace. And the chest. And unfortunately, I don't think I have any cobble on me. No, no I don't. Well, if that's not just dandy. I'll just have to steal this cobble. And then leave a little space in there. Which I dislike doing, because sometimes that makes mobs spawn. Oh, and you know what? I may as well. Just because there's no point to... I'm not going to have enough cobble for any of this. I'm going to have to come back later and fix this. There's no point in wasting these cables. If I'm going to have the battery sitting there. Alright, well. It is what it is. I'll fix it later. It's no big deal. Alright, to the basement we go. Alright, so. Get rid of that, that, and this. The battery box has to go too. Which kind of stinks, but is what it is. Battery box. Okay. Node detector. And I think actually I have to have that there. So when I place the node detector, it faces the right way. I'm a winner. Wahoo. Dudes, did you just see that? I am literally a winner. Like, I, I don't know how. I don't know what I did to make me a winner. But I am legit a winner. And yeah, if you don't believe me, well, I, I don't I honestly don't know what to say. You're you're a dummy? You're you you don't know how to read? I mean that's what it said. Plain as day English. You are a winner. I don't know why. I don't know what I did to make me a winner. Oh wait, no no, that stays that stays empty. I don't know what I did to make me a winner, but I'm a winner. Oh. No, that's not wide enough. That's got to be over one yet, doesn't it? Yeah, because there has to be the wire in there. I will, I'll get this figured out at some point. Okay, I will get this figured out. Okay, so then that needs to have a wire to there. Man, I'm using up all these wires that I thought I was going to be saving. Okay, so let's take this out one more time. And throw this here. 
Whoops. Didn't want it going that way. There we go. Okay, so that's working. Then we throw that. I don't know if I can put a cable in like this. I can. Nice. All right. Uh, let's put some stone tile in below these. All right. And then we need the chest, the injector, fuel fired furnace. So what? Chest there. Itemize injector there, which is facing the wrong direction. <sighs> Screwdriver, please. Excellent. Let's see how many tries it takes. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm getting better at this, evidently. All right. Well, I need another piece of wire. Good thing I have this one left. And now it's making a loop. Why is it making a loop? I just feel like I'm wasting a lot of wire here. Okay, so if I put a wire there, it doesn't connect. But a wire there does, and then it creates a loop there. Oh well, if it has to be that way, it has to be that way. You know what I mean? That still works. Okay, this is called... Technic MV underscore battery underscore box number eight is what I want to look for. And now if I put this furnace here, all right. Time to load up this chest with some garbage. What kind of garbage do I have that I can burn? I have no idea. A book with text, I suppose that's burnable. But I would never burn a book with text. Those are words from a fan. Coal lumps. Well, let's just grab some, just to demo how this works. All right, coal lump in there. All right, so that just turned on, as you will notice. Turned off, now it's on again. Now we have another piece of coal incoming. There's another piece of coal, and it'll keep sending coal. Now, I dislike using coal in here because coal burns for a long time. And if this is sending one piece of coal in pretty much every second, you're going to end up burning a lot of coal that you don't need to burn because it's going to keep burning after this node is, or after the battery's at level 8. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pull those all out of there. This is best for doing leaves for saplings that you don't want. Garbage things like that that you get when you use a chainsaw. I don't have a chainsaw yet, but I need one. What does a chainsaw take? I want to get rid of those trees. I was looking at this a few episodes ago, I think. I wanted to make one electric motor. Copper coils, carbon steel. Can we make that? I would love to get a chainsaw together here. I think I needed some stainless, so I'll grab that. Um, carbon, carbon, carbon. I don't have any carbon steel. So I'm going to need some of this and this. I don't know. I think I have fuel sitting in here. Yeah, I do. So let's just throw 10 in there and 10 coal dust. All right, so first things first. Copper coil. Yep. Mm-hmm. And let's go ahead, and I need eight of these, I believe. Okay, so we have one. Whoa, 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 I didn't want to do that. I wanted this. Double these up. Double these up. Oh. I don't know, I had that in two stacks. That's silly. Wait a minute, because I accidentally was using tin. All right, so I have the two of those now. I need another piece of fine copper wire for there. Okay, I need stainless steel and stainless, but I have some of that. I need a button, muscon, and a stone. Well, fortunately for me, I have just the ticket. I think I killed something out in the 
out in the yard to get that. Okay, and then I need some stone. Which, you know what? I'll just go ahead and throw that cobblestone in there. I'm gonna throw that there. Alright, another one will be coming up shortly, but tis fine. I'll grab that when it's there. Alright, so now we have we have the button, we have the two batteries, I have the two stainless, I have the fine copper wire. All I lack is the carbon steel. And we have 10 carbon steel. Alright, let us make the motor. Let us make the chainsaw. And let's charge this puppy up. And we just throw it right in here to charge. And it slowly charges. That's all right. Gives me some time to chuck these things away where they should be. Because I don't need to be carrying all that stuff on me. All right. I think I am going to go ahead and throw tile in there just to make it all pretty like I like things to be consistent as you know I can't imagine you would have noticed I do not need 99 cobble on me that's all right I want to go fix up the power tower all right let's go wreak some havoc no another thing that's nice to have when you're using a chainsaw is the vacuum tool oh man night is night is fast approaching the main reason I want to do this is because it's keeping my farm from growing. There we go. That's my charge. And this is why it's handy to have the, the vacuum tool. Because it would have picked up all of this stuff for me. And I think my inventory is full. Yeah, look at all these leaves. Look at just the gross amount of leaves that you get. It's insane. Alright, so that's everything picked up. Nope, it's not. Alright, let's run. I don't want anything to attack me. You made it! Woohoo! Alright, let's pop that sucker in there. And throw these leaves in here. And now... I actually think I had leaves sitting in my grid. I could take all these leaves and turn them into oil with an auto crafter and then cook that. But again, same thing with coal. It burns so long that there's really no reason to it. Like here with the leaves, they burn for like one second. So they burn, but they give you a charge. And that'll slowly charge up. Uh, we'll see here. Supply goes to 600 and then it's gone. And that's, that's just what leaves do. Which is fine. You know, I don't... I do not mind that one bit. Now, another thing I could do... Is I could turn these into twigs. But I don't know what burn time is on twigs. Maybe I should find out. Maybe I'm wasting leaves and I should be turning them all to twigs. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. And all these saplings, that's good for making glue. Gave me some tree wood too, which I don't even really know for sure how I got that. But yeah, it it is really, really nice to have. Makes things go super fast. Oh, I know why it's taking so long to charge this. Because I'm charging this battery and the one in the tower as well. That's why. But we'll notice here, it's it pulls away from the first stack, which is nice. And because these do burn fast enough, oh, and it's going to stop pushing them in. Because they do burn fast enough, it's always burnt before it switches to the next stack. So you don't ever have any issues with that. Okay, let's see about this twig. Okay, twigs seemingly don't burn. But twigs can be turned to sticks. Do sticks burn? They do, but they burn the same length of time. So, is there any advantage to turning your leaves to sticks? Not really. Like, 
yeah, theoretically, you're doubling the amount of power you can get out of it, but... Eh. I don't know if that's really super advantageous. I do love doing this, though. Just going out and... That chainsaw sound effect is so good. And I have a bunch more wood that I don't need. No, actually, I do need this wood. Because I need to put that second story on. So I want to make sure I get all of the wood and the saplings first. And then I'll go for the leaves. Alright. That is that. Let's get that power tower fixed up and call it a day. Just jump down these stairs. Jump down this hole. Plug those holes in there. Alright, things are beautiful, and it's time to wrap this episode up. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump downstairs and take a look at the electrical power generating system here. Just so we have something cool to use as our end card. And yes, that wraps this episode up, as uh, I think I already said, but thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is a great system to use in your builds if you're doing Technic and you have a gajillion leaves and nothing to do with them, burn them for fuel. Um, this isn't really a method that is going to charge a dead battery if you're doing anything. It's not going to create enough power to do that. But to help maintain batteries and give you longer running time before you do deplete all of your energy from the solar panels, it's great. And it's also great when you're not using your power sources and everything just to charge your batteries back up. It's a great supplement, but you're not going to want to use this as your main system. You could probably hook up several systems together. So have a whole bunch of chests, several injectors, and several furnaces, and get better power flow that way. That's something I might even actually think about in a future episode doing, just for kicks and giggles and... Because why not, right? I got all this space. I may as well fill her up. But with all that said, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.